The Legend of St. Kieran by the pupils of St. Kieran's School. My great-grandmother told me this story, and her great-great-grandmother told her, so I know the story started a long, long, long time ago. Once upon a time, there was a holy man called St. Kieran. He lived in a kingdom far, far away. I think it was Wales. St. Kieran had a holy crown and he always had it on his head. Anyone who touched his crown would get a cure for anything that was wrong with them. This made St. Kieran really famous and he never got a minute's peace. People were always looking for a selfie with him and in those days you had to draw the selfie so it took up a lot of his time. One day... St. Patrick came on a visit. He had been in Ireland getting rid of the snakes and a venomous one had bitten him. He was badly poisoned and was feeling very depressed. He came to St. Kieran to be cured. St. Kieran knew that St. Patrick was in a bad way so he said, St. Patrick, you take the crown, I don't need it anyway. Are you serious? asked St. Patrick. He couldn't believe his luck. As soon as he put the crown on, he said, Oh! and was completely cured. St. Patrick wanted to return the favour, so he gave St. Kieran a guitar with no strings. St. Kieran laughed, This guitar is no good to me with no strings. St. Patrick answered, If you go to Ireland... This guitar will help you to build a church. It will play music when you are in the right place. St. Kieran thought that the snake venom must have been making St. Patrick crazy, but he was a nice man and he didn't want to hurt St. Patrick's feelings. So he took the guitar and off he went to Ireland. It was a stormy voyage and St. Kieran nearly lost the guitar a few times when the waves crashed over them. One wave was so big it knocked his glasses off and he couldn't see a thing. But after three days, he reached Ireland. The guitar still didn't make a sound and St. Kieran was feeling a bit foolish. Then he came up with another plan. He saw a farmer who had a bit of land for sale. He asked the man would he swap the land for the guitar. That guitar is no good to anyone, said the farmer. That wouldn't be much of a deal. This guitar is an antique, explained St. Kieran. You could make a lot of money on it. St. Patrick gave it to me and he even signed his name on the back. The farmer was delighted and shook hands on the deal. Straight away, music started to come from the guitar. St. Kieran built his church. It was a huge, outrageously big church with a tall, round tower. St. Kieran was very happy with himself and became great friends with everyone in the area. Every day, a beautiful little robin used to come and sing in the window of the church. St. Kieran loved the little bird. One wild, windy morning, the robin was nowhere to be seen. St. Kieran went outside to look for him. Just at that minute he heard a screech and looked to see a kite attacking the robin. He was trying to tear him with his sharp beak and long talons. The robin was crouching down, hiding in the branches. Even though St. Kieran was a fairly old man, he climbed up the tree like a man in his twenties. St. Kieran shook his fist at the hungry predator and shouted, Get out of here! The kite changed his mind about his meal and flew off into the clouds. The poor little robin was badly injured and St. Kieran took him home to look after him. Little by little, the robin got stronger and one day he hopped out the window and was gone. St. Kieran didn't see the robin for a few weeks. 
and every day he wondered what had become of him. Then one night, some fierce, hairy Vikings jumped into a ship and made their way to Ireland. It definitely wasn't going to be a friendly visit. They were coming to steal and burn and destroy. St. Kieran was asleep when they landed, and things would have been disastrous but for one thing. The little Robin was keeping an eye on things when he spotted the Vikings trying to sneak their boats into the harbour. He flew to St. Kieran's bedroom window and tapped as hard as he could with his little beak. St. Kieran didn't mind being woken up because he was overjoyed to see his little friend. He didn't stay happy for long though. He looked out the window and saw the light from the Vikings' torches snaking up through the fields. He grabbed the church bell and rang it with all his might. The guitar with no strings started playing in the village. The noise woke everyone up. They quickly gathered all they could and made for the round tower. St. Kieran managed to get them all in, just in the nick of time. The hairy, scary Vikings were furious. They were hopping with rage. They were roaring like bulls. But there was nothing they could do, and they had to leave empty-handed. St. Kieran was the hero, but he was exhausted. Luckily, the Vikings couldn't be bothered coming back. They were so annoyed. He got a great night's sleep the next night. I think he lived happily ever after, after that. The end.